welcome to this channel. This is the Eradicator, and today we're going to talk about Verse Mate, which, in my opinion, is the best tool you can use if you want to trade in Star Citizen and make more money, find the best, you know, trade routes. Uh, so we're going to talk about it, guys. We're going to see, uh, thanks to traders, when it's more profitable to start making pure trading without adding anything. We're going to see what are the best routes. Uh, where you know you're gonna make the most money per hour because in the end that's what counts the most so here we go guys but before that got this message for you yeah, this month we're having a giveaway guess what guys it's the anniversary of the channel that's right i started working on this channel last year at the same period and i really want to give back guys everything you've given to me all that love all that support these comments um really you're making this possible and uh, the least i could do is to uh organize this giveaway i am going to give away a 325a with lifetime insurance <laughs> i've actually unmelted this one uh back in january as you can see uh, i already had this giveaway in plan and uh, in mind and uh, it's happening so all you need to do is to subscribe to this channel and comment one of the videos that are going to be posted this month in february what i'm going to do next on march 4th at 2 p.m. Beijing time. Now, mark this down in your calendar. March 4th, 2 p.m. Beijing time. There will be a lucky draw. It will be live streamed. So we can know live which video is going to be the winning video and which comments from that winning video is going to get that magnificent 325 a with LTI. Uh, good luck to everybody. Uh, again, thank you so much. This is the Eradicator, and you are watching my channel. All right, so we are right here on www.versemade.com, and you gotta go for the trades. This is where you're going to find this page right here, which is really awesome. You got the option to choose uh, many different options. Uh, which is going to be your start location, your end location, how many trades. You can select more than three, so that's going to be the maximum if you want to have a multi, um, you know, multiple stops. Uh, also, how much time, in how much time do you want to do that? Now, also, um, do you want to have a circular route? Do you go for, to go from point A to point B, uh, stopping at different, different locations? Um, you know, do you want to have the shortest route also in terms of, of time, the one that takes you the least amount of time? Lots of great things uh, that you can choose. Also, it lets you choose. You get all the ships that are available to fly right he right now in Star Citizen. You can select them right here. Uh, the uh, maximum uh, cargo capacity you want to use. Maybe you don't want to use all of the ship's cargo capacity. Who knows? And also how much money you're going to make uh, with... Uh, uh, with your starting alpha UEC. What, did, what are the possibilities based on your current uh, financial situation in the game? So lots of great parameters uh, that are available here on Traverse. Let's see uh, how it works right now. So first we're going to start with um, a, a Cutlass, Cutlass Black. That's the ship that we're going to start with. Why? Because I don't think that trading is a viable option if you have anything less than a Cutlass Black. You could eventually do that with an Ad Avenger. Uh, the Avenger here possesses uh, 8 SCU uh, of capacity. I know that there's going to be the uh, a trade Avenger with 21, if I'm correct. Uh, but it's not available right... I'm quite surprised it's not available right now in the game. If, if I'm wrong, please tell me in the comments down below. But uh, in my opinion, there's nothing, uh, there's nothing less uh, interesting than uh, a Cutlass Black if you want to get started with trading. So that's what we're going to select here. Uh, so maximum uh, SU, SU stands for standard cargo unit, uh, but we're going to use SCU anyway. And starting alpha UEC. So again, we're going to select 20,000 alpha UEC. Uh, guy's going to say, but I don't have 20,000 alpha UECs yet. Guys, it's really easy to make 20,000 alpha UEC in the game. Just go uh, do some FPS missions. Go to Hurston, do the bunker missions. Go to Security Port, Cray, uh, do some delivery uh, missions. It's really, really easy to get to 20,000. So uh, that's not an excuse. But we're going to start with 20,000 here. Uh, see what we have. Also, uh, the other thing we're going to have here, we're going to check out uh, pad sizes. Uh, right now, it's not really uh, important because you can uh, take off and land anywhere. So, uh, But that's going to be useful in the future when some of the bigger ships are going to be available. Commodities, uh, well, the 
I would suggest you use that only if you want to use only specific commodities, but uh, that's that's a waste of time in my opinion because the app already selects to you what's best for you. So there's no really need to do that unless you really want to trade something specific, but that's not what we're going to do today. Uh, locations. Now, uh, we it's pretty interesting because here you can select which locations you want to go to, which locations you don't want to go to. Uh, in these cases, we're going to uh, get rid of, oh, oops, uh, we are going to get rid of all of the uh, the rest stops. Why? Because the rest stops only sell, uh, you know, scrap, which is not really profitable at all, unless you have maybe a staffer and you can fill an entire uh, staffer out of scrap. But then again, someone can steal your staffer because they are not secured. You, you can't log them. So we're going to remove that. We're going to remove jump Town as well because uh, we're not going to deal drugs today. I don't think dealing drugs is a viable option. Uh, it's too risky. Uh, it's you're gonna lose everything eventually. So uh, unless you're part of an arc, but if you're if you're if you're flying solo like the Eradicator, just just don't go to Jump Town. You can do some really nice money on the long term uh, doing regular trading. So we're gonna get rid of that. We're also going to get rid of Grim X because Grim X doesn't sell anything. Uh, so we don't want to waste time. Remember, guys, you want to sell something, you want to buy stuff somewhere, you want to sell it somewhere from that place. You buy something, you gotta sell it somewhere, and then you're gonna buy something else and sell it somewhere and so on and so on so you want to sell things where you can buy something to sell somewhere else so that's why we're getting rid of Grimex right here um, we're also going to get rid of Lorville because unfortunately Lorville only sells scrap too which is very unfortunate we used to be able to uh, buy Agrisium in the PDU uh, but uh, now in the, in the regular PU they only sell scrap which uh, which I think sucks uh, we're also going to remove uh, Levski because Levski is not selling anything of value and uh, is that it? Uh, we have all the uh, the, the standing uh, uh, rest uh, rest stops. Yes, they're gone. All right, all right. So we got the, all of our different locations. Now uh, let's see. Where we're gonna start. We're gonna have our starting location here at Port Olisar, and uh, let's see uh, what this is going to bring us here. All right, so. Starting location, Port Olisar. Here we go. We are putting three trades, which is the maximum we can do. We don't put the end location. We want the app to really give us what the best choices are. So let's calculate uh, what this gives us with uh, 20,000 alpha UEC. So um, as you can see, you're going to start from Port Olisar. You're going to go to Bountiful Harvest Hypertronic Hydroponics. Uh, Port Olisar sells medical supplies, which is uh, a pretty expensive uh, commodity, but you're going to make some hefty profits uh, out of them. It's not a lot. You're just going to fill uh, 11, uh, 11 SCUs. Uh, then from there, you're going to go buy some uh, spirits, which is going to fill almost entirely your uh, your cutlass. You're going to go to um, to Woodruff, which is one on one of the moons. Of, I think it's on Ita or Ita, if I'm correct, or Ita. I think it's Ita, we say. So that's on Ita. So you're going to spend a lot of time doing that. Going to Ita, uh, and then from uh, Woodruff, you're gonna go back with Astatine. Uh, you're not going to fill your entire uh, your entire cutlass because it's quite expensive. And then uh, you will go back to uh, to D to uh, to uh, Deakin's Research Outpost, uh, which is uh, somewhere you're gonna buy. Uh, you're going to buy uh, medical supplies there. Medical supplies, as you can see, are um, actually quite a little bit uh, cheaper. Uh, on uh, on Dickens and on Port Orisa, so that's why the app tells us to go there. I don't suggest we do that. I, also, I suggest you go back to Port Orisa, though. Uh, so maybe we're gonna go back. We're gonna do our uh, location here back to Port Orisa. The only reason why the only reason why we're gonna do that is because Port Orisa buys everything. Uh, you're not gonna have to uh, deal with the uh, undefined, uh, you know, the undefined issue where you know waste your time. Waiting you know, to see if you can sell everything. Port Olisar is going to buy uh, everything from you from you straight away. Uh, interestingly, here you can see that the route is not the same for for some reason, uh, but also the profit is not going to be the same. You're going to make a little bit less money. So instead of uh, going to Woodruff, you're going to go to uh, Bizdek, which is uh, on. Uh, 
uh, on Ariel this time. Gonna buy distilled, uh, you're gonna buy titanium on best deck and sell them at Port Orisar. So you're gonna start with 20,000 alpha UEC and you're gonna end up with almost 25,000 alpha UEC. Um, now the other thing that we, that we can do is very often you also have delivery missions. So go check out guys, uh, always check out the Moby Glass, see if there are any delivery missions you can do, especially from uh, Crusader all the way to the moons of uh, Hurston. Uh, sometimes they can be uh, they can go up to 8,000 alpha UEC, maybe 9,000 alpha UEC. So you really want to check that out. That is really uh, in this case, it's gonna more than double your money. So you really don't want to do that. Now the only drawback with that is that um, you know these routes take time because you need to go all the way to Hurston. That's 10 minutes of that's eight minutes of uh, of quantum travel. So maybe you don't want to do that. So let's check out what are the options by time it's basically going to divide uh, your time by at least two so let's check it out uh, so here interestingly uh, you can uh, sell your medical supplies go to Trimes and Mayor and then buy uh, titanium uh, oh, you only have two through three trays here uh, two trays here, not three so basically that's the best thing you can do you can go back and forth uh, from Port Orisar to Trimes and Mayor Trimes and Mayor to Port Orisar now, why is it not great to do that? Because eventually you are going to saturate Trams and Mayer with um, with medical supplies. They're not going to buy you. They're not going to buy your medical supplies anymore. So uh, that's why on I believe that um, it's actually better to uh, to take the time to go all the way to the moons of Hurston because uh, they're always going to buy uh, what what you have to sell uh, and then go back to. Crusader, go back to the moons of Hurston and, and, and back and forth. And also, uh, you're going to make a little bit more money. The problem, if you stay uh, on around the moons of Crusader, you're going to have to wait until the demand pops up again. Sometimes you need to wait you know, for a long time and you're just wasting your time. So why not go into the moons of Hurston? Uh, I, I like to do that. So eventually, you're going to make more and more and more money. Let's see uh, if you have... You're going to get to 50,000 uh, Alpha UEC. We're going to see... Uh, if uh, the route is any different there. Uh, still pretty much the same, except that three, four, five, six, seven, you're gonna make, uh, you're gonna make 4,000 instead of 2,000 for the same, uh, instead of, oh, wait. Wait, wait, you're gonna make, uh, oh. What, did I make a mistake? Let's see what's the difference between 20,000. <laughs> How come it's not the same as what I saw before? So here, you're gonna start uh, with 21,000 and gonna start with uh, 25,000. No wait, 20,000 and you're gonna end with 25,000. So you're making 5,000. Now the same if you have 50,000, you should make more. I'm, what the hell is going on here? <laughs> All right, so you're gonna start with 50,000. Ah, that's what I thought. You're gonna start with 50,000 and you're gonna end up with 57,000, almost 58,000. So you're almost making 58,000. So, uh, yeah, so, and also the great thing with trade is the more you do it, the more money you will end up having. So that's pretty cool. Uh, now, what you want to do eventually, you are going to uh, fill your cargo capacity. That's not good. If your cargo capacity is full, uh, then you can't make as much money as you would with other ships. So we're going to change the ship here and we're going to change with a freelancer and see what's the difference between, you know, what's the difference. So with a, with, with a, um, with a Cutlass, you are making about 8,000 Alpha UEC. Let's see what a freelancer will do with the same amount of money here, 50,000 Alpha UEC. Let's calculate that. So you can see with a freelancer, you're already going to make much more money. You're also going to fill your cargo with distilled spirits and titanium there, but now you're making almost 10,000. Uh, alpha UEC for the run. So uh, that's that's much more money. Let's see how much uh, money we're gonna make with, let's say you have a um, a constellation, for example. Uh, so let's check it out. It's just 50,000 Alpha UEC. Uh, here you're gonna make 11,500 Alpha UEC in just one run, going from uh, going from uh, from Port Orisar to Bountiful Harvest to uh, Bezdek all the way back to Port Orisar. Uh, so that loop takes about uh, 45 minutes. So you can do that in 45 minutes. Especially the great thing about having a constellation is that it takes a shorter amount of time. The quantum drive uh, travel is uh, is shorter because it has a more powerful one. Now let's also check the difference by time. Sometimes you may not have the time to go all the way to Hurston. You may want to do shorter routes. So let's see the difference, how much money you're making here. You can see if you start with 50,000 Alpha UEC, you're just making... Uh, you're just making 
making uh, 6,800, so almost 7,000. So that's a difference of 4,000 alpha UEC. Uh, it's quite comfortable, guys. It's worth the money. Again, uh, let's uh, let's remember that uh, you're not always going to be able to sell all of your medical supplies because everybody is trading around Crusader. So you may want to go around Hurston to sell all your medical supplies. So it looks like it's shorter, but in reality, and I've tried that many times, in reality, uh, you are going to make more money per hour because you're not going to waste your time waiting for the console to be willing to buy all of your medical supplies. So uh, that's it, guys. Uh, Crusader to Hurston. Now, all of these are even better. Again, I insist, when you have you know, this little amount of money, you know, 20,000, 50,000, all the way, I would say, all the way to uh, 100,000 Alpha UEC, uh, it's very interesting to combine these uh, with delivery missions. Now, let's see uh, what you can get when you get uh, 100,000 Alpha UEC. So let's check it out. Let's check it out. So you're starting with medical supplies. Uh, you're going to sell them a bountiful harvest. Uh, from there, you're going to buy distilled spirits, sell them uh, uh, for an extra 3,000, and then uh, Port Orlisar you'll go back with uh, with, 15, with 115,000. So here, you're making 15,000 alpha UCs for that run. Uh, it's pretty good. Let's see how much you're going to make uh, if you're just uh, spending some time there. Uh, also, maybe you don't want to... Uh, let's see. You don't want to go to the same location. Uh, let's see what it brings here. Uh, yeah, so you can go back and forth. For example, here, uh, you're going to... Um, Oh, you're actually making even more money here. Look at that. <laughs> if you don't if you don't return to Port Olisar, you can even make even more money. Let's say you go from Port Olisar to Trams and Mayor. Trams and Mayor, Port Olisar, Port Olisar, Benson Manning. Interesting. You see, you're going from one... You're not going to go to the same place because the app knows that you've already been to Trams and Mayor before. And so Trams and Mayor are not going to buy your medical supplies. Especially here, we're at much higher numbers. You can see that's 58 SU uh, of cargo capacity than 65. So that's really, that's really more. Uh, and then you get to go from Benson. Let's go. So let's see. Uh, um, Benson is on Yella, and uh, let's see. We're gonna have eighteen thousand. So you can also cal calculate uh, how much money you're gonna have uh, from your next one. So let's calculate all of that. There you go, Benson. You're gonna go back to Port Olisar, Port Olisar, Arcop Mining, Arcop Mining, Port Olisar, and so on and so on. Uh, and so that's also great if you want to project yourself in the future, uh, especially these game loops uh, from Port Olisar to the moons of uh, Crusader takes a much shorter amount of time. So if you decide to go uh, this route and maybe take the risk of encountering other players or take the risk of having your uh, medical supplies rejected because there's not enough demand, you can make even more money uh, on the long term. If you have about 100,000 alpha UEC, you can easily make 20, 30,000 alpha UEC per hour, maybe up to 50, some people have told me. Uh, so there we have it, guys. Uh, this is... Um, this is how you can use Tradeverse, how you can, uh, no, not Tradeverse, this is how you can use Versemate, how you can project yourself in the future, how you can uh, plan your trade routes uh, before actually executing them. Now, let's have a little bit of fun. Uh, let's see if we have 250 Alpha UEC. I want to see uh, what it takes to completely, full, uh, com to completely fill a cargo uh, with, um, with medical supplies. So where is our little Port Olisar? There we go. Uh, I think that we should have enough money here to fill. Yes. So with 250,000 Alpha UEC, you can fill an entire car, uh, cargo hole of, uh, of medical supplies. And you're making just one run, let's say, to Arcop Mining Area. You're making 9,000 Alpha UEC, almost 10,000. Uh, then you're going to make even more money selling Agrisium back to Port Orisar. Then go to Benson Mating Outpost and so on and so on. So, you know, the more money you have, the more money you're going to make. And at this point, once you get over 200,000 Alpha UEC, as you can see, it's not even worth your time wasting, you know, uh, dealing with deliveries. You're going you're gonna to waste your time looking into the Moby Glass, see where you're going to have to pick it up and drop it off and go to the different consoles. Uh, you're just wasting your time. Just, just have some fun, you know, trade from one place to another. See your bank account grow with more and more money. And uh, yeah, maybe... Yeah, Eventually, you get to a million, two million, buy more ships. Um, it's possible. I mean, within a week, you can get several millions Alpha UEC doing that. Uh, so there you go. There you have it, guys. Uh, how to make money using Versemate and planning your trade routes. Um, anyway, don't go. Uh, don't go anywhere, guys. Uh, we got a, a little something for you.
And now it's time to answer a question from one of the fellow eradicators who support his channel on the crowdfunding website Patreon. So, Gargerton asks, What brings a French fella, I assume you are French because of your YouTube page, to China? Well, well, personal question, eh? Well, uh, what brings me to China is uh, this. I'm, I'm married to a Taiwanese woman, so I uh, decided one day I uh, decided to... Well, she was... She was with me in Europe originally. One day we decided to to give up on everything and go and move here in Taiwan. Uh, so uh, yeah, that's why I'm here. Maybe I'll be back to Europe one day. Who knows? Uh, and uh, so one more thing, uh, I'm not French. Um, so uh, actually, I come from Brittany, uh, which is yeah, it is a uh, well, everybody thinks it's a French region, but culturally and historically speaking, we're very different from France. And there are you know, lots of, actually, lots of people, including myself, don't really identify themselves with the rest of the population. So uh, I will never say I'm French. Um, I, I'm Breton. But thank you for asking. If you want your question to be answered in a show like Gargantons was, you can subscribe to the Patreon page. Uh, you can start with just $1 per month. You get access to our giveaways. Questions answered here. Lots of great perks. Go check it out. And that's a great way you can uh, support a channel. Thank you so much for watching. This is the Radicator signing out.